And we're joined by UCF coach Josh Heupel. Uh, the Knights are 2-0. and oh. They were in action this past Saturday at Florida Atlantic. UCF won the game 48-14. to uh, UCF back at Spectrum Stadium this Saturday. will be taking on Stanford, 3.30 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN. Uh, coach, thank you for joining us on the call today. If you just give us your thoughts on the win at Florida Atlantic, you know, we expect to see as you're back at home uh, Saturday to face the Cardinals. Yeah, uh, just uh, really pleased with the way our kids uh, handled the week. Uh, you know, uh, for us it was a little bit different. We uh, we took Wednesday off because of the uh, the hurricane uh, campus and, and really almost the entire uh, town was shut down. Um, our kids handled an off day in the middle of the week uh, really well, came back and, and got themselves mentally refocused on Thursday and Friday and physically ready to go. Went down there and played really well in all three phases of the game, started fast. Um, getting a couple of stops and, and getting a couple of touchdowns on the first couple of drives there and, and um, you know, changed the way the game was played throughout the course of it. Uh, defensively just created a bunch of negative plays and, and uh, put them in a lot of, you know, tough situations in third and longs and, and got after the quarterback all night long, played tight coverage. And uh, offensively uh, were able to, to run the football really efficiently and explosively all night long and, and create some big plays in the pass game. Your thoughts on the upcoming game against Stanford, please? i uh, excited about the opportunity, you know, uh, to have a, a great opponent uh, coming here to, to Orlando. We're going to have an, uh, an electric atmosphere. Our guys are excited to, to play this one, and they are every Saturday. Um, you know, just uh, an opportunity for us to take the, the next step in our, our journey this season. And, and um, you know, week three, got an opportunity to, to improve on some of the things that we need to from week two and, and uh, go play good football. Okay, questions for Coach Josh Heupel, please. So star one on your telephone keypad will put you in the queue, then the operator will introduce you. <coughs> star one for questions, please. Okay, and we'll go to Kyle Nash, sportsmediapass.com. Hey, Coach, um, going into the season, the defensive line has been an area of concern, but it put up 16 tackles for loss. Can you give us a quick word about how um, quickly they're evolving and how impressed you are with that? Yeah, it was uh, a question mark from, from those outside of the program looking in just with uh, with some of the guys that, that uh, left our program or graduated and then some guys that went to the uh, to the NFL. And, and uh, <laughs> I feel like that group had a fantastic summer. Um, changed the way that they look and felt it just in our strength and conditioning program. But, um, you know, we're really focused on improving some of their technique, and, and they've played with great effort. Coach Burnham's done a, a fantastic job of, of developing those guys. Obviously, Coach Shannon and, and how we play defensively has allowed those guys to play on edges and, and get up the football field and create negative plays. And it's been a, been a, a huge part of our success defensively. Uh, Got to see that group continue to, to grow. Uh, believe it will. Uh, got good leadership from within, and, and uh, excited to see them this Saturday. Do you have any other questions for Coach Heifel, please? Star one on your telephone keypad, if so. Coach, we'll let you off easy this week. Appreciate your time, as always, and look forward awesome. to talking to you once again next Monday. Uh, All right. Appreciate it.